Japan's space agency thinks they found a way to solve the problem of space junk, floating debris in space that becomes kind of a nuisance to our current satellites and... Sandra Bullock. Yes. What if it hits her? That'd yeah, be bad. On National the way down. Treasure. I know. Japan's JAXA, which is kind of like their NASA, has developed a... Well, they've been working in conjunction with a company that produces fishing equipment to Naturally. make somewhat of an electromagnetic net that uses, well, it, ref it can catch reflections of light and it attracts debris and junk floating in the atmosphere into the, the, the net, I guess. It works exactly how you think it would work. Yes. It floats around in space, it seeks out space junk, it captures it in the net, and then it takes it with it. Which sounds a lot like fishing. Yeah. <laughs> so space sushi. Yes. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be awful and delightful. Rusted metal jags exactly. in sushi, <laughs> but it's it's a uh, it's some are worried that it may actually create more space junk, and that it's uh, other countries are wondering why Japan took the initiative and want to know if what's up with that. Somebody Do we did. need a council of UN space janitors? Janitors. <laughs> I, I don't know. The, I mean, everyone has been talking about this being a problem that's going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. Mm -hmm. So I think it's strange that I, that someone would be like, hey, 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 what are you doing solving this problem? I'm, I'm worried about your methods here. And obviously, and any of these things need international scrutiny mm -hmm. because everyone's got a stake in what's up there. Yes. There, there, yes, there's space junk up there, but there's also really useful stuff up there, and we don't need it swept away with the garbage mm -hmm. that could cripple infrastructures on well, the ground. Well, you're the amateur space attorney. Yes, What do I you am. think of this? Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I don't disagree with the reservations, especially mm -hmm. since there are committees that have been tossing around multiple ideas. Um, the, the three ideas are sweep it up, drag it down, and blast it away. Uh, you know, and, and everybody's got a different idea of how they're going to do that. The Swiss Federal Institute of Technology has an idea. The European Aerospace Company has an idea. Boeing has an idea. So the idea is essentially to hold on to it for a little while, and then th uh, the junk comes careening into Earth's atmosphere. It destroys a small village. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know <laughs> how big this... Yeah. is and where it would actually land. Is, is, it, is it actually like a danger in that what, way? What they're doing up right now is they're putting up a small net. I think it's two kilometers, 700 meter long. That doesn't sound That's, small to me. But well, okay. 700 meters is nothing compared to what they, they want it to be 10 kilometers long to make big sweeps, you know, mm -hmm. um, which in, in terms of the vastness of the atmosphere is still relatively small. Uh, so they want to go up there and just see if the principle works, um, which is fine, except you could do damage seeing if the principle works. Um, eventually, if it's successful, they'll put up a giant one and really start to get to work. But yeah, they, they trawl the upper atmosphere with an orbiting space junk, then the net kind of like self-contains and slows down and falls back to Earth. And it's not really, we're not controlling it necessarily, it's more of floating around and... Well, it's automated. Yeah. So it can sense things and turn itself towards them. Mm -hmm. And it's actually pretty cool, it doesn't use like a propellant. Yeah. It uses its electromagnetic field. It's like a giant Roomba. Yeah, for planet Space Earth. Roomba. Yes. I like this. Our Roomba. Okay. It's Earth. It'll get stuck at the chair and you kind of <laughs> go, oh, you have to move it around. <laughs> That'd be nice. And then it'll catch on a satellite and send that into the geomagnetic field exactly. and we'll be like, what the hell, Roomba? Well, I guess with worse comes worse, we can just get Superman to grab the net and throw it at the sun. Yeah, because that, works that worked out so well exactly. last time. It really did. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny that there's a knee-jerk reaction, like you said, to, to any sort of positivity, any sort of like plan to help the future. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. We have built an entire worldwide society of mucking things up. Why are you trying to fix stuff? Um, and I, I agree with the reservations, but I figure a small enough test like that, at the very least, any damage it could do would be far outweighed by the positivity it could eventually lead into. And I mean, anything is any decision on this scale is a, a balance of risks versus rewards. Mm -hmm. I think this is largely a, a, a reward-based scenario versus the risks. The worst comes to worst, we lose a little AT&T coverage for a week, which means we're probably going to lose anyway. Unacceptable. Um, I, I think it's a great idea. I think they should. And, and to be fair, if anyone's going into space, I would trust uh, Japan to do it because um, nothing ever bad happens if Japan goes into space. Mm. Sci-fi movies have told me anything. You both <laughs> voice quite a few animes. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? Is this, this uh, space net a good idea or a bad idea? Something we should inevitably be rolling toward or just another piece of space junk making more junk? junky up there. Let us know what you think in the comments and please be sure to subscribe.